an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a burn for a burn, a life for a life. That's how all this got started. And that's how it's going to end. It's the imperfections that make things beautiful. Love is scary. It changes. It can go away. That's the part of the risk. I don't want to be scared anymore. I've always loved the first day of school better than the last day of school. Firsts are best because they are beginnings. You never know the last time you'll see a place, a person. Moments when lost can't be found again. They're just gone. I will never look at you in the same way ever again. I'll never be that girl again. The girl who comes running back every time you push her away. The girl who loves you anyway. There are moments in life that you wish with all your heart you could take back. Like just erase from existence. Like if you could, you'd erase yourself right out of existence too. Just to make that moment not exist. To belong to someone, I didn't know it, but now that I think about, it seems like that's all I've ever wanted, to really be somebody, and to have them be mine. There's no use in asking, what if, no one could ever, give you the answers. I try, I really do, but it's hard, for me to accept this way, of thinking, I'm always, wondering about the what ifs, about the road not taken, you'd rather make up, fantasy version of, somebody in your, had then be with a real person. We stood there looking at each other, saying nothing, but it was the kind of nothing that meant everything. When a person you love dies, it doesn't feel real. It's like it's happening to someone else. It's someone else's life. I've never been good with the abstract. What does it mean when someone is really truly gone? She and I were still friends, but not best friends. Not like we used to be, but we were still friends. She'd known me my whole life. It's hard to throw away history. It was like you were throwing away a part of yourself. I think I see the difference now between loving someone from afar and loving someone up close. When you see them up close, you see the real them but they also get to see the real you. It's all relative, I suppose. You think you know love. You think you know real pain, but you don't. You don't know anything. I loved him in a way that you can really only do the first time around. It's the kind of love that doesn't know better and doesn't want to. It's dizzy and foolish and fierce. That kind of love is really a one-time only thing. Things couldn't stay the same forever. But the little things are what make up life. My dad always used to say that with everything. In life, there's a game-changing moment. The one moment everything else hinges upon. But you hardly ever know it at the time. It feels strange to have spent much time wishing for something, for someone. And then one day, suddenly, to just stop. A hundred years ago, 18-year-old guys were out there fighting wars with bayonets and holding a man's life in their hands. They lived a lot of life by the time they were our age. What do kids our age know about love and life? How was I supposed to know what's real and what's not? It feels like I'm the only one who doesn't know the difference. The hum of a memory blurry around the edges, soft and nothing particularly special all kind of blending into one moment. How is a person supposed to prepare for what happens tomorrow when there's just no figuring out today? It's the guarantee that no matter what happens to us in the future, this time was ours. It's scary how easy promises were broken. For me, it was almost like winter didn't count. Summer was what mattered. My whole life was measured in summers. I wish that things could go back to the way they were between us. That you could be you and I could be me. And we'd have fun with each other. And it would be a really sweet first romance that I'll remember my whole life. Best friends are important. They're the closest thing to a sister you'll ever have. It's a lot of responsibility to hold a person's heart in your hands. I wondered if this was the way old crushes died with a whimper slowly. And then, just like that gone. If you were mine, I would never have broken up with you. Not in a million years. When someone's been gone a long time at first you save up all the things you want to tell them. You try to keep track of everything in your head. But it's like trying to hold on to a fistful of sand. All the little bits slip out of your hands. And then you're just clutching air and grit 
Do you know what it's like to like someone so much you can't stand it and know that they'll never feel the same way? People come in and out of your life for a time they are your world, they are everything. And then one day, they're not. There's no telling how long you will have them near. I didn't want my love to fade away one day like an old scar. I wanted it to burn forever. A fight is like a fire. You think you have it under control, you think. You can stop it whenever you want, but before you know it, it's living, breathing thing and there's no controlling it and you were a fool to think you could. Looking on the bright side of life never killed anybody. I wonder what it's like to have that much power over a boy. I don't think I'd want it. It's a lot of responsibility to hold a person's heart in your hands. How do you regret one of the best nights of your entire life? You don't. You remember every word every look, even when it hurts, you still remember. Nothing, nothing felt better than the way sand felt beneath my feet. It was both solid and shifting, constant and ever-changing. It was summer. How crazy, how thrilling that your whole life trajectory can change in just one night. When you lose someone and it still hurts, that's when you know the love was real. You have to let yourself be fully present in every moment just be awake for it, do you? Know what I mean? Go all in and wring every last drop out of the experience. Jenny Han was born and raised in Richmond, Virginia, to Korean-American parents. She graduated from Governor's School for Government and International Studies in 1998, then attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. In 2006, she received her Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing at the New School. Han is an American author of young adult fiction and children's fiction. She is best known for writing the To All the Boys series and The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, which were adapted into a film series and TV series, respectively. Han wrote her first book, the children's novel Shug, while she was in college. Shug was published in 2006 and is about Anna Mary Wilcox, a 12-year-old trying to navigate the perils of junior high school. 